All right, this is the old Barry Wright rebuild. Put the rear end back in, got the torque arm on there. And, um, the uh, pinion seal is leaking. And I pulled it all apart. And uh, this is really rusty, so I'm gonna, I took it over here and chucked it up in the lathe. I'm gonna clean it up. Put a new seal on her and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. Get a little oil on our sandpaper here. but I think I need some 200 and then go to four. Go uh, get us a rag, see what she's looking like. t-shirts around here. It's a pretty good line in it. I'm not going to be able to get that out, that line. I'm just going to smooth it up a little bit, knock a little bit more rust off of it. I'm going to have to run it because I don't, I don't have another yoke. But if this one leaks, I'll just order a yoke or find another one in better shape. But maybe she'll be okay. Take this bracket back off and put the new seal in it. The yoke didn't clean up extremely well, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, if it leaks, I'll get a new yoke. monkey in a football kind of like a monkey in a football here all right we got that far I need to put a couple of bolts in here I think oh yeah there there we go all right now Let's get her up on the table. Let's get her up on the table and put a seal in here. I got her cleaned up a little bit. As you can see, there's a wear line in there. 
because it's not going to come out. And this original seal, I'm thinking, is wider than I picked up one of the part sizes, but I couldn't find a part number for this stuff. So I just took the yoke and this, and we measured it, found a, a national seal, which is a little thinner. So I'm hoping the, the sealing part will, will ride. If I, I'm hoping it will ride in a, a different spot than that groove right there. If not, we'll, we'll worry about it later if it leaks. But uh, gonna knock this seal in here. If I can get a hammer. You're in there. All right. Dip to the oil. Probably knock everything off this tape. Oh, we ended up, uh, that last video I made in here. While I was swapping motors and trying to make it to Tri-County, I made it. Ended up being extremely lucky and blessed and won the race. It was a great night for us. Ended up parked right beside the, actually parked right beside the Hunter Front guys. I was, my buddies were parked to the right of them and I slipped in there beside those guys and they, they had a good run. And their 604 race. So this seal is thicker. This is probably a Brike or an All-Star or something. I didn't order. On the last car we had, I replaced one. I should have ordered an extra, but I guess I didn't. So I was, I'm kind of wanting to get this thing together. So I, like I said, I went and picked this up today at the parts house, CarQuest. But I'm hoping this seal will ride on a different, in a different spot right there. And I think, I think it's going to. I hope. I have to see how far that goes in there. I may have to beat that seal back. I may have to beat that seal down a little more with a, a different. Uh, this is actually a race driver bushing, I mean, a bearing race driver, but I got some other stuff, but I didn't feel like looking for it. knock it down too much it's gonna be right on the freaking right exactly where it was riding before but I don't feel knock it in enough and I don't know how far this goes in after I put this bracket on so it may not it'd probably be okay I need to probably put this on and then test this and see how far it goes in. Cause I know obviously it don't go all the way in cause it would be rubbing. So it's got to be right out here. 
I better knock it on down in there. safer that's gonna put it like I say probably right back on the line there but we're gonna try it it should be all right I just cleaned all that rust off and the lathe anyway gonna put it together This is the stuff you have to do when you can't call up Longhorn or Rocket or hell, CBR, whoever the hell you want to call. This is what you have to do to beat those 2022 cars. You have to work. You can't just buy it. I, I, I'm not going to lie. You know, if I was rich, I would definitely call them. No doubt. Call them today. Send me a car. Turnkey. But anyway. We can't do that, so we're gonna work on this thing and we will we're out run a lot of a lot of those cars. Because essentially, honestly, they're all about the same. There's a few differences here and there, not much. And if you got a welder and a grinder and torch and a little bit of know-how you can turn this car into one of those if you want to hell i don't know i might have been in the camera that time who knows anyway i'll clean this off here a little bit this uh This has an O-ring on it, but, you know, honestly, I'm not going to trust that. Because I'm sure it's extremely old. No doubt. So I'm just going to put a little bit of sealant on here. And we'll... A little bit around here, like this. this I think it's probably probably getting pretty good probably get pretty good there all right so now oh I'll stick this on here and a couple of bullets here don't know don't get confused <laughs> hard holding makeup like this
so hungry. I'm freaking starving since I got home from work. Didn't grab a snack. I just came on out here. There's so much I want to do. I really want to get this car going. Some grease in her tomorrow. Let's see if she leaps. On to the next little deal. <laughs> <laughs> 